A Holiday Monologue by Evan Edwards. <laughs> I almost don't want to say the title. I'm not going to. Don't. <laughs> I won't. I won't. Dr. Braithwaite, a highly intelligent, usually calm scientist, excitedly confronts his or her colleague, that's her colleague, about their recent discovery. I'm a scientist. We're scientists. Between us, we have five PhDs in everything from biophysics to anthropology. We were hand-picked by the Senate committee. Our mission? Go to the Arctic to bring back irrefutable evidence to prove the existence of global warming. We've been living in this frigid wasteland of perpetual darkness, both literally and figuratively, for five months. We conducted copious experiments on the ice, the snow, the soil, the flora, the fauna, and the actual, the actual air we're breathing. And we've had zero success in finding any sort of empirical evidence that could justify the cost of $6 billion. Money that could have been spent to feed the starving, house the homeless, or educate the children of the world. As a whole, I believe this experience had been an epic failure until I heard you scream, Eureka, I found it! My first thought was, my god, I can finally get back to civilization and culture and sanity. My second thought, I hope this qualifies me for a Nobel Prize as well. <laughs> so I run to see what all the commotion is. Hopefully that a Christmas miracle has happened. I ask why you shout with glee. You tell me you've, been, you've proven beyond a reasonable doubt that Santa Claus exists. Santa Claus. <laughs> Only He's not the Santa Claus half the world knows and loves. You've proven that the Arctic is on par with Darwin's Galapagos Islands. Millions of years of evolution have just skipped over the entire continent, and Santa Claus is actually the Neanderthal that time forgot. <laughs> I mean, the only difference between the myth and the man that Neanderthal Santa doesn't give presents. He merely visits every house on the planet in one night in search of cookies. <laughs> Christmas cookies. <laughs> and the bad little boys and girls who don't leave Christmas cookies for Neanderthal Santa get coal in their stockings. Only the coal isn't coal. <laughs> <laughs> it's Neanderthal poop. <laughs> and furthermore, the world hasn't been using fossil fuels for the last few hundred years. We've been burning Neanderthal poop. Are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot. You're a Republican. <laughs> 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 <laughs>